Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today uh, we are going to cover the overview of reports tab in SSRS project. We are going to create a SSRS project. We are going to take a look uh, what exactly we can do from the reports tab. We will be able to create a, a report by using wizard from there. We will be also able to create uh, the shared data source and the shared data set and we will be able to add the existing items from different solutions or projects and such as the shared data sources or report reports by using the reports tab now let me open let me close this one existing one and we are going to create a new project so open ssdt sql server data tools go to the file and new and create a project here you will be providing the project name so let's call this one sales project or reports the next uh, here you will be providing solution name so it is called ssrs uh, maybe demo now a solution can have can have multiple projects so and uh, here you will be providing the path where you want to save those directories with the reports share data sources and everything now go ahead and create one once uh, we are here we will see one of the tab called uh, reports uh, that's what i was uh, talking about uh, which uh, we want to go and uh, dig into that uh, and see what we can do from here so if you right click here the very first thing is called add new report uh, and you, if you see this uh, icon here seems like it's some in something like wizard uh, or window right so let's uh, click on this one ex explore it uh, add new report uh, now we were right on that one as it is a report wizard so by using that report wizard we can create the report it is a set of windows that ask some questions and then finally it create report for us so let's hit next and the very first question is asking or telling us to do is create a data source now here we don't have shared data source so that's grayed out and we can create a new one so let me create one so we call it SDS sales so share data source and underscore sales sales is a database name that we have and we want to use here so we have some tables customer employer sales and other tables here that we want to use now come back to the SSDT and we have to provide the connection string I can just simply write it uh, data source is equal to the server name and semicolon and uh, say initial catalog is equal to sales or I can build it uh, I recommend building it because every time I make mistakes uh, when I it has to come to write uh, so here you will be providing SQL server name and then uh, here you will be providing the database so we are connecting to the sales database once uh, that's done it is asking uh, mark this as a shared data source okay we, that, that's good idea if we are going to use uh, this sales uh, database uh, for multiple reports so uh, why not use this one as a shared uh, so every report can use that Hit mark this one next uh, it is asking us uh, build a query or uh, g g provide a query so query builder that's where you can select uh, different tables add columns and all those kind of thing uh, and uh, then uh, uh, build your query you can simply write your query here we can say select asterisk from and then now I'm gonna create the report from customer table and this is it so I did not add the call tables or anything I'm gonna have another video on top of the uh, for the query designer and uh, go in detail on each of the tab so right now we are executing it is uh, given us these uh, columns ID name and address now we can go to the edit as a text so if we hit here um, this will kind of remove those uh, uh, different windows and uh, we are good here we can hit next and uh, that's where the query is we don't have to go to query builder always we can simply write our query in SSMS and paste it here or write by ourselves I recommend writing in the SSMS and pasting it here after testing in SSMS hit next now we have multiple type of reports here tabular or matrix don't worry about that we are going to uh, have a lot of videos on this uh, and uh, we'll create a lot of videos by using the report wizard so let's go with the tabular that means a report in a table so a table type report next uh, we are going to tell like okay where uh, these uh, columns should be going I'm gonna put everything in detail for now um, uh, I will uh, 
have another video again uh, on the, this uh, uh, details we are going to talk uh, what exactly the page group and everything now next uh, and uh, select some format or the colors you like uh, and then uh, finally give the name so in this case we are going to call this one a customer report you can preview the report here or you can finish and preview it later so let's uh, hit uh, preview report right now and uh, finish so it created the report uh, now it is uh, in the preview tab and it is going to show us the report and that's how our customer report will look like this is the very first thing we were able to do from here so we click here and we were uh, add new report and it initiated the report wizard so that's one thing we can do from the reports tab next let's uh, take a look here the data source is also created as part of uh, that wizard now we are going to go to reports tab again and say add and uh, here we have new item now in the new item it is telling us uh, multiple things it is telling us you want to initiate a report wizard we don't want to do it we already have done it so if we want but this is one way to start your report wizard the second part okay you want to create a report yes I want to do it and create a new report using uh, if I click here and you can read that create a new empty report that means uh, this report will have uh, nothing we have to create our own data sources and data sets uh, and then uh, we will be able to use that let's do it so go to report and I'm gonna call this one as a employee report now we added and here you see this report uh, did not show us uh, any data set or any data source uh, we have a uh, shared data source uh, anyways uh, already existing here we can use that one so come to your employee report and in the data sources let's add that reference now here we have options we can create our own data set sorry data source that will be embedded in this report or we can make a reference to the shared data source let's make a reference to the shared because sales is the database we are going to use for a lot of reports so shared data source is good idea to use hit ok now in the data set let me go to back to properties and rename this one data source one is not a nice name so we should have sales give some reasonable name in the data set right click add data set and now here you can have embedded data set or you can have shared data set I have already created a demo on the shared data sets I recommend watching that video and in this case we are going to use the embedded one embedded means that this data set is going to be available only in this report if we go to the shared data set that will be available to all other reports as well if we create those reports we can use them we don't have to recreate every time now we are using embedded so tell us like uh, uh, we are going to tell uh, which uh, data source you need to use and now we have to provide the query select star from dbo employee and hit uh, ok now the fields are available to us uh, we can right click here in the report and say insert and uh, table and uh, I can simply create that report drag and drop those columns here and our report is uh, ready very simple report we can preview the report so the second part we learned from here we can create a, a report empty report from a reports tab by just going to the add and a new item and then going to the reports now let's uh, go back one more time hit on the reports tab go to add new item and here the third option is the data source so it means we can add a data source from the reports tab itself so let's make this one and call this one sale region once because the sale region is the database where I want to connect so I want to create a data source with the name sales region so I can call this one actually DS um, shared data source this is my goal I want to make it shared eventually so hit add now once uh, this is here it is asking us uh, okay what is the name you want to create for that one name and type of connection manager so I will say uh, shared data set sorry sorry source and sale region okay now we have to provide the spring I'm gonna go ahead and select the SQL server name here and then we will be providing the sale region database so sale region hit ok we are all good 
now if you go here you will see that shared data source uh, right here so that's what we created sds underscore sale region now this is one way to create the shared data source from the reports tab let's go back again go to add and then new item the last one is the data set now we have to provide the name in this case let's say we provide month name of uh, this data set this is what we are going to do eventually i want to make this one as a shared data set because month name can be used across multiple reports add and once you add that it asks you okay which data source do you want to use it so um, okay i want to call it month name again provide the name now here you can select the data sources which are available to you so both are shared and we know that our table does exist in both of them so let's take the sales and here is my query so i have a distinct sale month sale month from dbo sales in the sale region so also i have the same table in the sales so it doesn't really matter for me uh, i don't want that not I, I wanted to click just execute not mdx so anyways i can execute now so this is in the sales database so fine go back here provide the query we are using a shared data source underscore sales that's pointing to the sales database now hit ok and let's try to find out where it is so it is under the shared data sets so it is the, the extension is the r sd share uh, report shared data set and for the sources we have a uh, rds so report data source now we see that the reports tab is really cool we don't have to go to the shared data source or shared data set we can create the things from here the last thing uh, it is uh, t uh, telling us or having uh, given us option uh, is the uh, existing items uh, what does that mean it means uh, maybe we can add uh, some items uh, from existing uh, solutions uh, so let's hit that once we hit that it will give us this window and it is telling us okay you browse me to where where you have some uh, items for me so here i have ssrs training uh, solutions this is one of the solution i created one of for the last demo and uh, now we have sales report in the sales reports uh, we have a uh, employee rdl so uh, this is my report Rep rdl mean uh, report uh, rdl uh, anything that has a dot rdl it is mean uh, that's a report uh, uh, definition file so that's the actual report and then uh, anything that has a uh, uh, r s d that's the data set and anything that has r d s that is the shared data uh, that's actually sh i will not say shared uh, that is a data source that can be shared or not so uh, you know um, shared so anyways we will create uh, let's say we want to add uh, the employee report is solid there so i want to i want to find something d s uh, employee let's uh, this uh, add this uh, uh, data source so we are going to adding, adding that part now hit ok and uh, <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry it is it was data set so so this uh, data set we can add um, and next uh, you're going to go ahead and add a new report uh, let me rename this one if i want to rename this one to employee underscore one and then we can add the employee go to reports go to add and then existing items and then you can go ahead and add the employee report now if we will redo probably it will uh, let's see if it will redo it will say i want to overwrite or it will give us the option maybe with the underscore one or two so it is given us option saying okay you have the report already with the same name do you want to overwrite or you want to just cancel this out in my case i will cancel out okay thanks you so you can add the reports uh, uh, by using the reports tab you can go to add and then uh, add any items uh, in this case uh, let's say if we have a uh, uh, sales uh, data source uh, and we want to add that if we add that i already have this one so it's not uh, letting me do it if uh, i want to overwrite it it will overwrite it if we rename this one uh, you know uh, then uh, we can add that one let's uh, t keep this one sales only and then we can go ahead and add one of the data source go to report tab add existing items and then choose the shared data uh, source that's the sales so you can see that that came here right here okay so this is cool uh, when uh, you have a lot of reports sitting in here and there and you want to add to your uh, solution you can go ahead and uh, 
uh, add those reports, uh, add those data sources, add that the, the data sets, uh, and uh, this all can be done from the reports uh, tab. The property doesn't really, you know, it's just a properties window. Uh, now, we we have uh, added everything. Uh, last thing I would like to do, let's uh, deploy these reports uh, to the server. So if you right click on the sales report uh, and uh, properties, uh, and here you will be providing uh, different folders such as uh, data sets, uh, data sources, uh, and where you want to deploy the reports and here your server uh, URL will be so in my case uh, my server URL is this uh, Amir PC backslash uh, report server underscore SQL 2014 now I'm gonna go ahead and provide that and we will deploy it once uh, this is done and uh, hit here apply fine now we can go ahead and uh, deploy the entire project uh, with the uh, share data sets uh, share data sources everything and uh, from the window here you can see that it is deploying uh, sources and then uh, it is deploying the data sets uh, and then finally it is deploying the reports uh, if we're going to go back here in the reports um, window and the, or url you will see all those things uh, here you have data sources and you can see all those data sources whatever we have uh, created and then uh, you will see data sets uh, and then you will see the report and then you will see different reports what we have here in different folders uh, so there were a couple of uh, uh, things uh, let me take a look again one more time so if uh, th th yes th this was uh, uh, this uh, folder was already existing there I didn't uh, refresh at that time I was deploying something so you it is mixed of that but these are the uh, data sets uh, they are deployed by our newly project uh, by this one so these are three they are deployed these are the two data sets uh, they are deployed so you can take a look on that one if you want to go ahead and take a look on the data sets uh, we will see those uh, two data sets uh, here and then the other reports uh, they will become into sales report so we have a customer employee and employee one uh, that's uh, coming from here you can run it if you want to change uh, go ahead uh, you you want to change uh, the data sources you have the option here as they are shared uh, you can click on anyone and point to the any source uh, any um, server name or the database name uh, and uh, that these uh, then this uh, data sh source uh, will be used by the data sets uh, and uh, the reports uh, so you don't have to make changes to the reports or the data sets uh, it will automatically use uh, start using the newly uh, uh, connection string from the data source uh, as it is shared so thanks very much for watching this video and i hope uh, you learned something uh, out of this video